for them. So we need to see Quista get out of control very quickly if they want to take this to 2-0. I mean, if not, we're going to hit against and have any of the evasion. And all right, just bullying him out a little bit. Keeping Puppy on his tail and uh, on his toes. That was pretty aggressive and he forced, he was forced to use a Tango and a Salve. It's already hurting a bit of his uh, regen. First blood. Oh, oh, mid lane, wow, oh. you don't really expect that. Take you wake, he just dove the Storm Spirit. Now he's gonna go deny himself to this hard camp. Can he get it in time? It seems like the answer is yes. Well played. Wow, that was really well played. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to the mid lane at all because you don't really, could have been a lot worse for Secret, but yeah, this this dual lane. I mean, it's not the like AA is definitely one of the. Denied. Should have seen that one coming. Say twenty one two. Say twenty one actually. Puppy, oh, puppy is getting get dove again. Oh boy. Quista getting himself pretty big now with twenty with two kills. S4 is gonna chase him out, slow him down a bit, trying to get this kill. There is the evasion online. And S4 doesn't want to commit fully, and you know, while we're looking down bot, they end up getting a kill on the bat rider up top. So, well played by them, and then a bit of a cast bounce with the purification. They're gonna get the, ca the malediction out there, and he should be dead. Yeah, S4 is gone. They're gonna let it tick out, and actually, Shadowway hits him in the head with the hammer. Puts the turtle to sleep. They're playing this one so well. Like, they just know. Yeah. And, you know, Sniper Troll can take Rush very quickly. There's a bit of a dive coming in onto Kuroki, though. So Gonna get an easy support kill. But now they see that the Aegis is going up to the secret side. And... I mean, that's the kill. Can you see that they dropped the ward there? Die? I don't think so, maybe. Die, please? Maybe not. He blinks no, away, though. Because the creeps attacked him. Oh, S4? Uh, dagger in. Alright, he's actually just gonna go for it. Why not? Pop the Mask of Madness. He gets bashed on the second hit. Gets a crit out. They stun off the cast. Secondary use of the dagger, but they come forward. Two-man spike before we can get the purification off. Zai lining that one up perfectly. Oh, man. What a play. Wow. That was, that was really well done. Sort of like, what circumstances... Like, under which, under which circumstances do you get to the late game? Do you have an advantage? Do you have a disadvantage? And I feel like SFZ, they need an advantage in the late game to, you know, prevail. If they go even into late game, I, I'd argue that Oh, uh, Secret puppy. wins. He's gonna get targeted out here, gets one crit, and it does end up whacking him down. That propel is gonna stop quite a bit of the damage. S4 is gonna be going in, though, but they find the kill onto the Batrider, as I believe they were zipping around with State, and then S4 gets dropped, too. That's gonna be the Aegis gone. So they pop the GA a little bit just to block some of that damage. State zipping out the safety. The ward is being channeled, though, and he gets canceled immediately by Encart, so it seems that State will go down. And it's a little bit of a two for one trade. The cast bouncing continuously, and they're just kind of raising their heads towards each other. So, if, if they can't find any SFZ heroes here, they, obviously they have to be in their own. They're going to run into each other, it seems. Zai, going to find one. They get the spike in. The cast comes out, though. It's going to stun up both of them. Kuroki's going to be the target. The Ice Blast is going to connect with that shot coming in from the sniper while the Vendetta's popped up from Zai. They get a dagger into Puppy. That's going to be a crit. They're going to zip. And he's out of mana, though. But look at the crits. Just so much damage while Quista does pick up his basher. They're looking for a little bit more. Can they get anything? And, uh, he's out of tags and then just starts, uh... Revealing the whole map. This time he's gonna be looking for the snipes across the whole map. Hmm. Quist is finding a haste ring too. He's got an ultimate orb in his back pocket. So can he? Ooh, a little bit of a blink away. Lane, right? Though. They find Ramses. themselves Ramses. Yeah, he's gonna go down. Ice blast does not connect. They pull back Zai. They're gonna try to get this kill while Quista currently dominating, just destroyed Kuroki. They get a bit of a heal up. Shadowway's gonna get sniped down a bit. S4 chasing in. Quista trying to get Puppy, trying to get Arteezy. S4 is on a killing spree currently. He's just blinking up. Quista gets the bash, but can't follow through. He's too slow from the shrapnel. He does do the uh, Shadow Strike forward in onto S4. Blinking forward, though. Arteezy, he's missing just a bit, but gets the final shot. Gonna snipe it onto Eknar. That's not enough to kill, though, even with the urn charge. Healing up too fast, and... Coming into the back, the bashes are coming in. State 21 can't do much. He's finally able to get out of that. But blinking forward, we got Qu Quista. Doing some serious damage with the Malediction on top of S4. He might just take out for the Malediction alone, but they decide to back off. Finger comes in, Quistus keeps getting drained out, and the Snipe comes out too from the Sniper. The Aegis is popped, but Quista is dropped, and now Shadowway stuck in a very tough position, just getting right clicked down by the supports with Zai on the backside and S4 taking down Eknart. So that is, that is going to be a four man wipe coming into the favor of Secret and pulling a complete 360 from the last set. This is 
That was really rough as a team at all, and they just ran in one by one. Don't forget also a bit of misplay. He, in my opinion, he's just zip, like he's just zipping, zipping, zipping against this guy who just he just yields him. Secret most likely just gonna take the racks here. I wouldn't be surprised if they even threatened another Rax. Radiance middle tower has yeah, my back the... wise, there's there's Radiance nothing. Middle barracks are under attack. There's just Thank the uh, Omni-Knight. Yeah, but you know, the, they're pretty much alive in like the next 10 seconds anyways. Radiance Maybe not going for a third, uh, for a second set of racks. Maybe just a tier 2 top, you know. Light takes it. More evasion for you guys, at least away from the cycle. And then the defusal comes out from the next two. It's not too bad of a defusal carrier. Um, I like this from Secret though. I think they're reading the game Whoa, well enough. Whoa, that's so aggressive. Going in on to Ramses. Well, there's a zip in the back line. It's going to be State 21 being able to take down Kuroki with Quista on top. They get a dominating screen. State 21 looking to be good there while trying to drag up the sniper. They just can't do it. But the Ags Ward was doing so much damage. But Zai with a perfect spike to the wall stops that one. Tiki Wiki get a drop in S4. Going to be able to take down the Storm who just committed suicide. Never mind. Bit of an overstay from Secret. This could actually have been a much better fight if Puppy had hit his ult. Like, team fights like this, hitting the AL is actually pretty cool. Missed it before in other fights, but all oh, they did still manage. Ooh, Puppy oh, Knight. Oh no. Goodbye. Just the surprise. It's a surprise factor right now coming in from the Vendetta and the Blink Dagger. Yule's coming in to stop any chance of zipping around from State 21, but he finds S4 with a good prediction there. And now S4 should be dropped. He, is he dead? Finally? Can he go down? No, the miss chance is being a little bit too much. He's still going at it. Look at him go, just swiping away, but Quist is able to finally take him out. Quite insane how long he survived for the uh, survived there. But yeah, that was a good rebuttal from uh, SOZ. Oh. With this, this stuff. Quista. Spiked, fingered, and they even dropped the urn, and the last right click from Kuroki picks up the kill. My god. I spoke too soon. So much back and forth, honestly. Both teams just... Guess 8, 600. 900 a person. <laughs> Secret. Looks like they're not... They don't want to go... Wow. They just want kills. Yeah, they actually spot Zai. Oh, uh, S4. Lasso comes in, S4, the cast is gonna bounce around just a bit. They're looking for a kill on a Zai, looking for a kill on a Kuro. Can they get it in time? Puppy picks up a... The quick initiation there onto uh, Ramses and takes him out. So the Bat Rider down. Quist is getting fingered a little bit. Not slowed up. Has the repel still going out the Zai trying to pick up an easy support kill, but just can't do it. Shadow way down of stunned up too, but S4 getting bashed up just a bit. Shadow striking away is Quista. And then State 21 loses all of his mana. He's stunned up a little bit again. Getting spiked down, gets the repel, but now flashing and uh, blinking forward is <laughs> Arteezy as he just gets a huge amount of damage. Eknar going down, and that might be game. That is more than likely game. Number two over to the secret side. I mean, I don't like singling out people for mistakes, but that bad rider, like he, he got a really good initiation on S4, but instead of pulling S4 towards his own team, he just pulled him away. And in fact, actually drove himself to suicide by force staffing into the sniper. So I think that kind of cost them. Like, I think that fight was actually, could have been really good for them if they just, you know, caught on S4 in the beginning, but nope, they didn't. Yeah. And this, yeah, this is Secret's game. Like, they have two racks. There's, it's very unlikely for Secret to still throw this. Especially because we'll the lineup. Oh, Newell's defensively keeping the Knicks alive for just a little bit. They're zipping forward. BKB out. Kuroki gonna get slowed up just a bit. He should be at least dead. Still chasing this one. Does Zane 21 looking for S4. He still has his BKB available. Does get lasso. Can they get the crits out in time? They do. State 21 picks up that kill. RTC canceling the snipe and just running away, just waddling away as a little sniper. And now it looks like he's gonna farm. Maybe a Hex? Uh, yeah. Hex would be good. Hex with the ultimate orb sounds just dandy. And mm. now it seems that Arteez is gonna be trying to solo off Roche here. The only thing is, he's got some people coming in. Kuroki's gonna get lassoed up. Now they find out that Arteez was in the pit. He pops the BKB. Can they get there in time is the question. They need to get this kill. This is an absolutely huge kill. They're gonna go in onto S4 instead. The repel up the cast going through as well as the bounce is coming out. But again, Zai from the side stopping that 
Death Ward from going in, and then they're getting slowed up by the Scotty there from Artizi, but the BKB from Quista chasing this one down, getting the crit and getting the kill. State 21 unstoppable, Zai still in the back, still maledicting it up, gonna stop the back actually from State 21 and pick up a kill on Omni Knight. Look at Zai go, absolutely insane right now. While Quista out a killing spree, S4 blinks back in, but this might be the downfall of him. Can they get the shots in? The Yule's coming out defensively, S4, Quista going in with the Shadow Strike, and they can get the kill. Oh man, the miss chance without the repel, he can't do anything. Thing, and S4 gets the double kill, and that is going to be Aegis, Cheese, and more than likely the game. But even after all of that, SFZ still come out in terms of gold and almost Radiant's about even in terms of XP. Zai is such a boss. Like, he, he saw that the, the heroes were trying to retreat to defend their base, but you know, Zai just doing Zai things. And... Well, he probably just saved them the game there. I mean, Radiant's it's not like they were gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna lose, but... Well, the courier also died too, though. Getting a kill on Artizi would've been huge for us. I mean, they did get a kill, and if they had gotten away with it, that would've been huge. That, they are getting thrown. And a haste for S4? Mm, maybe I'll take it, let's see. Uh, is this a smoke attempt up top? It seems like it is. Yeah, they're blinking forward. They can't get it. The Carapace coming in too fast. The Yule's defensively out too. There's the Ice Blast on it too. Some serious damage with a finger down onto the Bat Rider. And then they just blow up that poor innocent Witch Doctor. So S4 is going to chase them all down with the Haste Rune. Can Omni Knight get away in time? Shadow Way? I don't think so. S4 going to look just to dive. You can't slow him down with the Stifling Dagger either. He's just like, whatever, everybody circles around your base. But looking for the Bastion of State 21. Can he get it? Finally has it. And with RTZ there, they get the kill. Just an instant buyback from State 21. Quista can't do much against these MKBs. And I mean, RTZ and State 21 are going to man fight it for just a little bit. He goes in onto S4. Vortexes him up. But this should be the game, it seems. They're just critting down. Look at the damage off the Omni Knight as well as the Troll. Good game well played is called. And it seems SFZ have just been completely wiped out. And uh, Team Secret taking a controlling and dominating game number two. Yeah, I think uh, this is the game that Secret needed to come back from this. Like, um, just being very dominant, showing that SFZ, hey guys, we're actually kind of want to go to this land final, so did you not? And SFZ kind of sad that they lose this much momentum they had. I think in the beginning you could even see that they were very eager to, you know,